Ladies and gentlemen, Vasily Kichigi. the king of social media and the freelance in Russia. He got a business degree, then he worked uh, in social media just for a short time, and then in three years of offering his services on the platform Fiverr, he completed more than 10,000 orders and became a top-rated seller, and at the age of 23, he has eight people working for him. He is a role model for every influencer out there. Ladies and gentlemen, Vasily Kichigi. All right, Carlos, thank you so much for doing this. So can you tell me a little bit about your story? So you're a speaker as well, and you're doing your hustle as well. So can you share this as well? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. This means a lot to me as well. Um, you see, the, my story is like many people I never knew what I want to do in life. Uh, I studied English and German studies, but I also did a lot of things on the side, a lot of projects, a lot of student organizations. I was an actor. And whenever there was a speech to be made, whenever there was a presentation to be held, they always told me, hey, Carlo, you're good at this. Why don't you go ahead and do it? Yeah. And then at one conference, people asked me, do you do this professionally? And that's when I figured, well, maybe I could start. Um, so, oh. They're stealing our, our letters. Uh, sorry, yeah. uh, we have those yeah, letters. We, we are not going to steal them, we want to take pictures. Yeah, yeah, but we're, ha we're filming something. Oh. <laughs> we're stealing our, yeah. You see here, it, no, no, this is, maybe you can keep this on film. This is the wild west out here. You have to be careful about your letters. Yeah, um, yeah so go ahead, go ahead. that's when I, when I decided I would try to do this professionally and also I would help people become better speakers. Because, you know, there's so many people who have great ideas, have such a huge knowledge or have so much to say, but they can't express it very well. And they're, you know, and that's why they don't get the recognition they deserve. So that's why I decided to do this. So you were moderating at LEAP, right? So how did this opportunity came to you? Yeah. Well, I would say it came just by pure hustle. <laughs> because uh, last year, when I, I d decided to do this, I started a project which was called Speech Funnel, and I decided that I would teach people how to get better at public speaking and they would teach me something else. And the founder of, of, uh, some, of Leap Summit conference last year saw the video and then he told me, hey, we're looking for a, for a moderator, for a host, maybe you could jump in. And you know, I said, of course, this is a great opportunity. I did it and it went well. And now this year they invited me again and gave me even even you know more to do, even a better stage and uh, you know more announcements. So it's really about going out there, doing something, and then someone will see you, and this will create an opportunity. Yeah, that's very interesting. And so, what characteristics should a good speaker, you know, have basically? Well, he, here's one thing that is universal. A lot of people rely on their talent or their opportunity, their ability to improvise. But one thing that you can't replace is good, good preparation. You know, when you're going out onto the stage, it is a stressful thing. When you go out there and you see people looking at you and they have expectations, um, it's stressful. And when we're stressed, we perform not that well. You know, we start stuttering. We, be, we you know, we start like this, and we become shy. But if you prepare well, if you try your speech at home for 10 times, and I personally, I hate preparation. <laughs> I, it's such a boring process, yeah. it's horrible. But if you do it for 10 times, then when you go onto the stage, you won't have, have to improvise. You won't have to rely and hope, oh, maybe I hope it will be good. You will just perform what you already can do well. So you basically have to do your homework, right? Exactly. And get ready. So we actually also prepared. We were here a few days before mm -hmm. and we were like preparing like crazy with the presentation, the talk. So I think, yeah, it's definitely, you should definitely do your homework because otherwise it's like one time you're speaking yeah. and you could ruin your reputation, right? Or people yeah. could be like, oh, he's uh, kind of like always talking the same voice or that. So you want to make sure when you go out there, you really crush it. So yeah, I definitely agree with you. And uh, what, yeah, so what is your plans as well for future now? So you have a company, right? You have uh, all this hustle. So what are your plans now? Yeah. What are you trying to... Yeah. 
So right now, here's the thing, I'm um, pretty early in the beginnings. So right now I'm finishing my master's degree. I have this company that I started with it. Uh, I started doing this last year, but officially with the company only this year. And also I work like 10 hours a week because uh, my business doesn't bring me enough money yet so I can make a living with it. So my plan is now to you know, finish my, my studies and keep working on the business until it brings me enough money so that I can make a living with it. And you, you know, you know how it is. It's so difficult. There are days when I want to, you know, give it up on it all. Please. Yes, but you know, people like you are an inspiration to me because when I see, you know, someone who's made it just by their, you know, by their own work, own hard work, and you have people working for you. You, you know, you're filming. You came here. You have your camera crew. This is just, this is really an inspiration to me and people like me. So yeah, it's my plan to you know keep hustling, keep working hard, and see where it goes. Yeah, I mean I think it's all gonna work out for you for sure. I mean you have a really good talent, especially the way you're talking. You know you can influence a lot of people. You can you know change their minds, and you really deliver the message you want. So I think you're definitely gonna do well. Maybe we could organize something, potential event or something like this in the future. It will be fun to do it definitely. So wish you all the best, all the luck, and uh, thank you so much again for this opportunity. Uh, спасибо, друг. Спасибо. 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 Спасибо